the product of three consecutive positive integers is 15600. And the sum of the squares of these integers, I'm going to guess this, 15600. We have to have two zeros. So we need to have something ending in zero or something ending in five. Otherwise, we won't get a zero. The product has two fives in it. We're not just one five, two five. 156 is 12 into 13. 15600 is 12 into 13 into 100. We have a hundred sitting here. So there are two zeros that need to come. So we need to have two fives and even numbers. Two fives can come. There's a 25 sitting there because the two numbers cannot be multiples of five in three consecutive integers. I'm gonna write this as 25 into four into 12 into 13. We have bingo. This is 24 into 26 into 25. That is 15600. I don't want to frame equation and solve this. We'll just factorize this and jump in. There are two zeros here. The product of n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 should have a multiple of 5 square, 25 in it. If n or n plus 1 or n plus 2 is a multiple of 5, then none of the other two can be a multiple of 5. So the entire 5 square comes from one of the numbers. One of the numbers is a multiple of 25. 24 into 25 into 26 works. The sum of the squares of these integers, 24 square plus 25 square plus 26 square, 576. 625, 676. 6 plus 6, 12, 12 plus 5, 17, 1, 7, 8 plus 2, 10 plus 7, 17, 7, 1, 6, 6, 6, 18, 1, 8, 7, 7, we are through.